Welcome everyone. Recently here on my channel, I've received numerous comments regarding various mathematical miracles of Islam, and some of them I've found quite compelling. Let's take a look at a couple. Want to test a Quran miracle that you could verify yourself? The first human landing on the moon. By the way, do you know what an actual miracle would be? It would be anyone from an Islamic majority nation getting out of the dark ages of their religion long enough to develop the technology to land someone on the moon themselves. It would be even more miraculous if one of the wives of the crew was allowed to drive the spaceship as long as they weren't underage or something. The first human landing on the moon was 20 slash 7 slash 1969, which corresponds to the 5 and the... Oh, wow. Uh, that's a great comment. Let's move on to the next one. According to the Smithsonian, among 6,500 books owned by Thomas Jefferson, one was the 1734 Quran, Ironers the chapter 57, and I mean, you can just see how compelling these arguments are. So... I was so compelled by them that I decided to just look around the Islamic literature and see if I could discover any more mathematical miracles myself. And what do you know? I came up with a couple. Let's take a look at them. Muhammad was about 54 years old when he married Aisha. 5 plus 4 equals 9. 9 was the age of Aisha when Muhammad had intercourse with her. Clearly, we have a mathematical miracle. Aisha was Muhammad's third wife. She was six when they were married. Three plus six equals nine, and nine was the age of Aisha when Muhammad had intercourse with her. Looks like yet another mathematical miracle. When you write Muhammad without repetitive letters, you get M-U-H-A-D, which has the numerical value of 47. Aisha has a numerical value of 38. 38 subtracted from 47 equals nine, which is the age of Aisha when Muhammad had intercourse with her. Yet another mathematical miracle. Muhammad was approximately 54 years old when he consummated his marriage with Aisha. Aisha was 9 years old when the marriage was consummated. 54 plus 9 equals 63. Remember that 6. That will be important. Remember our 5 plus 4 pattern. We take the 6 from our mathematical miracle on the top, and we carry that on and combine it with our mathematical miracle on the bottom. We get 6 plus 5 plus 4, which equals Surah 65 4, which is the verse in the Quran which allows prepubescent intercourse with young girls. So the surah and the verse in the Quran which allow prepubescent sex with young girls corresponds perfectly to Muhammad and Aisha's age when they had intercourse. That is clearly yet another astounding mathematical miracle. According to Sahih al-Bukhari, Muhammad had the sexual strength of 30 men, which is an exaggeration, I mean a miracle in and of itself. In addition, Muhammad would have intercourse with all of his wives in one night and only bathe once after this was complete, which is not miraculous, it's just disgusting. These types of sexual practices would leave Muhammad open to at least 20 types of sexually transmitted diseases, the sexual strength of 30 men plus one bath after intercourse with 11 women, and 20 types of sexually transmitted diseases equals nine which is the age of Aisha when Muhammad had intercourse with her. Now, I know the math doesn't quite work for this miracle, but this is Islam. Don't be distracted by facts and figures. This is a miracle. And finally, for our last miracle, the Quran has 114 surahs. You can rewrite 114 as 141 and 411 also. When we add these numbers together, we get 666, which is the well-known number of the beast, demonstrating that the Quran is the book of Satan. Given that Muhammad recited verses from Satan, and this number corresponds to the mark of the beast, we clearly have yet another mathematical miracle. I hope you'll start to notice some of Islam's mathematical miracles yourself and post them in the comments below. I'll see you there.